Hello everybody, and welcome to the final video of my playthrough for Immortal Love! Bitter... Bitter Awakening, I believe the name is. I, I, I know it's got bitter somewhere in the title, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't go to the title screen right now, I'm playing the game right now, okay? Okay? Um, yeah, this shows how terrible I am at playing video games. Am I just gonna use my magic wand just to pull something tight instead of using it as a magic wand? That is so hilarious. That's actually really funny. It's like, I'm gonna use my magic wand, not to use a magic spell, I just need to, like, twist these things, because they were in my way. <laughs> okay, arrange the number tile, so the sum of each um, diagonal, and vertical, and horizontal line equals 34. <gasps> Math! No! I would be able to do it if it's vertical and horizontal, maybe, but, um, okay, so 34, so 16 and 1 is 17, um, 12 and 5 is 17, there's that row, um, let's go 2 and 15 is 17, um, oh, 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 something's working, I did something right. Yes, yes, oh my gosh. I've done it, except for the diagonals, I guess. Um, so 16 plus 4 is 20. Yeah, okay, so you've got to, you, you've got to, something's got to switch here, maybe these two. Oh, I got that diagonal. Perfect, perfect. I don't know how to get this column in place. Oh, oh, that messes up that thing, though. No, no. Okay, what if I miss the 12 and the 15? That doesn't work, because that messes up my, my beautiful column. Okay, I'm gonna skip this puzzle. Wow, I wasn't even close. I was not even close. Glad I decided to skip that puzzle. Part of the mural is missing. Well, here's one part. I get feathers. Feathers, okay. I can't even touch that thing. I don't even know what it is. I imagine the feathers are gonna go here. Hmm, obviously something goes there. Okay, so I've got a little piece of coal. I guess that's a, a useful item, I suppose. So this is where the V goes. V, uh, obviously for Vivian, I imagine. This is another mural part. I need some paper to copy these symbols. I've got paper, I've got coal. Excellent, so I need a circle, and uh, I don't know where I'm gonna use those symbols, though. Oh, this is clear that chandelier from inside the palace uh, from earlier uh, in, in, in the main game. That's cute. Okay, so the symbols obviously uh, go here. So I'm gonna put the symbols here. So circle, uh, this thing, uh, this one, that one, that one, and that one. I'm not sure what that gives me, but this is a hidden objects challenge. So let's find our items. This is the letter R. R. <laughs> There's a rose. Rose token. There's that crystal ball. I think what I found there was a pin for the pin cushion. Because finding pins for a pin cushion, whew, that is actually pretty tricky. There's a button. Yeah, wow. Why, why do I keep finding all these little tiny items? This is not the easiest to fit in objects challenges. Okay, the pincushion is finally finished. There's the glass slipper for my friend Cinderella. Let's find some castanets. We need to find scissors and the letter R. There's the letter R. R for Redcliffe, I imagine. There's the bow. Oh, I totally would have thought that would be a bow and arrow, not, not a violin bow, so... That would have had me trapped for some some time. There's a sheep. 
their sheep. The rose token obviously goes here for the final part of the mural. Hint is confirming. Nothing else left for me here. Let's do this mural. So what did that do? That didn't appear to do much of anything. Okay, there's an owl. We need owl to go here. Next guardian. Douglas of the Owl Clan. I know why you've woken me. I'll bring you to your wife, but know that you will only be successful if your love for each other is true. It's, it is true. This is not a problem, talking owl. If it is not, you shall both die. Jeez! Here, take this. It is a copy of the real amulet. It will help you escape this world once you save your wife. Yeah, you know, well, in the game, you know, the, the memory owl was really kind of harsh and mean, so I am totally not surprised that um, the memory owl continues to be harsh and mean in her true form. And, you know, not in her little pendant form. This is locked, but I think I can pick it. Where am I, by the way? I just sort of changed where I was. That just sort of happened unexpectedly. And now I've got boxes. I can use this straw to make a torch. I, I guess I can use this to figure out where I am. I'm in the dungeon. So previously I was in the castle. The uh, amulet. It looks like I missed out on some morphing objects in a sheep here. Oh no. Where's a sheep in my hidden... I like how I've got this, those two characters here. They're just looking at me. Hi. How's it going? Do you guys see a, a sheep anywhere here? Are you just... No? I saw the sheep. Okay, I think I saw the sheep. I think I think I saw the sheep. Okay, let's go back. We're gonna get... No. Arr. Castle. Warp to this room. Sheep right here. Can't click on it. Okay, when I click on it, I get warped um, to this room. Darn. Life is hard when you're trying to find all the sheep. Okay, so I found all three of the crates. I'm not sure what I was collecting crates for. If I can get a torch here. I bet the tar is for the torch, and the flint and steel is also for the torch. So, hmm, I can use this straw to make a torch. Okay, use the board. How can I stick the straw to the board? The tar? Yes... Got it. No, 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 not the amulet. The flint and steel, obviously. So now the torch is, lights up the area so I can stand up on these boxes so I can get the final guardian. Our Ayla. Oh, I found Ayla. Hey, guys, I found Ayla. Great. Cool. Let's just get out of here now that I've saved Ayla. Redoing this amulet through the door and escaping. Wow, this is a cool looking room. I really like it. <laughs> this is too high. Ayla, you can fly. Thank you, Ayla. You're wonderful. Oh, by the way, if your love for me isn't true, we're both gonna die, so, um, feel the love. Just feel the love right now. <laughs> I hope you do. Okay, and these look like just random pictures. Hmm, I should look for the painting that went in this frame. These are painting parts. Oh, I need to sew it back together. But how? I don't have any sort of thread. So let's look at this painting. Well, there's thread in that painting. Okay, there we go. Look, I fixed the painting. It's beautiful. And I'm going to... Make the thread, the needle, into a lockpick. <laughs> okay, so put each painting in the correct position. I imagine that they are um, based on the outlines, which are behind them. So that one perfectly fits the outline. This is sort of like a circular outline there. That works. Um, that looks like that's more up there. Uh, that one looks like it goes there. Beautiful. I thought that was beautiful. I guess I was wrong. Okay, maybe I've got these two mixed up. Okay.
Okay, this gives me a casket. Casket here. I can use the crystal resonator to, I imagine, destroy this barrier. Where do I use it first? I need the hint here. Okay, so I put the crystal here and then I use the tuning fork. Okay, that's where I use it. Okay, I knew I was just following those instructions. I didn't know quite where to do that. Okay, so I use the amulet and... Vivian, you turned into his wife to fool him. You would have both been dead by now if we didn't save you. Sorry, but there is no escape from this world for you. Whoa, what? Vivian impersonated Ayla as an excuse to get out of here? Wow, Vivian. You created this world, Vivian. It was your rule that only two who are truly in love can awaken us and leave this world. You know that only death awaits those who try to pass through us without true love in their hearts. Free Ayla immediately, and we shall help those to leave this world. Fine, but you must pass the last test first. Your wife is in the dungeon, among many others. If you can find her, both of you shall be free. You're a terrible person, Vivian. Okay, so she's giving me a final test. And I still don't have a chance to get that sheep. Okay, where's my wife? She's gotta be somewhere here. Which one is actually my wife? I need to find the owl pears. Oh my gosh, and if I make a mistake, they're all changed around? So this is basically like a manner of getting lucky, isn't it? Wait a minute. Okay, so let's see. If that's always a little short owl. And that's a little short owl. Okay, so now a little short owl is there. So let's find whoever matches a little short owl. Oh, there we go. Okay, so a little short owl is moved here. Match. No! How are those not matching owls? They are... Okay. So it's totally changed where the owls were. No! This is basically an impossible challenge, isn't it? just need to get lucky. Yeah, I'm skipping this challenge. I'm sorry. That's really impossible. You have like a, <laughs> a real like 1 in 50 chance of getting it correct. Your love is truly powerful. Please forgive me. Return to the real world. Live your life together in happiness. My love is powerful, and so is my skip button. Yes. And that's what happened to my wife and I. Neville, my nephew, I'm sending you this letter with our family amulet. I pray you'll find a way to free these captured souls, and afterwards destroy it. Love, your Uncle Douglas. Hmm. So that's how this relates to the main game. You eat the letter from my uncle, Little Mouse? Hmm. What's that? Uncle Douglas sent me the Amulet of Oblivion? Well, I suppose I shall become its keeper. Well, so that's how that happened, huh? Interesting. Okay, well that's it for Immortal Love, Bitter Awakening. I hope you enjoyed my video walkthrough, everybody.